Technically testing. Uh, I'm doing a test out. By the way. Jumps in fear, stepping backwards, dropping his fan and gloves, and walks off and ed exits stage right. Alice, with the gloves and the fan in hand, is talking to herself. Dear, dear, how queer everything is today. I wonder if I've been changed in the night. I remember feeling a little different, but I am not the same. Who in the world am I? <laughs> oh. Alice cries more. The projection oh. fades. The lights go up on the stage as the Tweedles enter. They walk towards the centre of the stage and they meet in the middle. Did you hear what she said? Yes, she said. She didn't know who she was. Well then, we can't just leave her anonymous, can we? Well, it's not as she <coughs> did it was. And I thought you had a degree in humanitarian studies. I am, but it's out of date. It only lasts it only lasts for last year after I left university. You're useless. Useless. Hit him. <laughs> Tweedle too hedges away. Uh, the Tweedle bows to the side of the head, bows to the side of the head, and walks off the stage, laughing loudly. <laughs> Let's put her in lost property. They'll put a label on her, like Paddington Bear. Then she'll know who she is. That's enough. She knows who she is. Just not what she is. Tweedletoo looks at the audience from the side of the stage and shrugs. Well, she hardly looks like one of us. Tweedle one frowns, sighs heavily. I think we can call her Care Manager. Tweedletoo looks away to the audience puts his hand at the side of his, the mouth of Tweedle One. That's taken a chance. If she doesn't know who she is, she won't exist. Then they'll cut her up, they'll cut up her support hours. Waste of time that. Points to Tweedle One. Two, two, six, four. Alice starts crying no. again. No, I think I shall probably shrink again. Then there is a narration from the telephone. Thank you. We will get back to you. After the next council budget meeting, maybe you may receive a call. But have a nice day and do take care. The lights come up on the Tweedles. Tweedles join each other on centre stage, look at each other in alarm and whisper to each other loudly so the audience can hear... Damn it! Now she'll think that... No one cares. She might think she's not important to us. And on top of that, she's in love with Jack. And she can get through the door to see him. The lights dim and move to where Alice is sitting holding the mobile phone. Alice sits and begins to weep. How I wish I hadn't cried so much. At the very least, I shall probably shrink again, and I may drown in my own tears. Blue Iris opens on stage to create a large blue pool. Alice stands up and begins to dance and swim. Alice moves around the pool of light, and the light goes to the centre of the stage and is joined by a mouse. The mouse enters stage left, who dances in a swimming movement towards Alice. Both dance towards the centre stage and at the front of the stage. The mouth, mouse says to Alice, You silly girl, you can't go through life crying. You're so right. I wish I hadn't cried at all. Oops. But I really can't help it. Let us get out of this and get to shore. Oh, Alice so starts crying no. again. Oh no. Don't stop. Then there's a from the telephone. Thank you. We will get back to you. 
After the next council budget meeting, maybe you may receive a call. But have a nice day. And do take care. The lights come up on the Tweedles. Tweedles join each other on centre stage, look at each other in alarm, and whisper to each other loudly so the audience can hear. Damn it! Now she'll think that no one cares! She might think she's not important to this And on top of that, she's in love with Jack, and she can get through the door to see him. The lights dim and move to where Alice is sitting holding the mobile phone. Alice sits and begins to weep. Again, again, she's got some serious problems. I should probably shrink again and I may drown in my own tears. Blue Iris opens on stage to create a large blue pool. Alice stands up and begins to dance and swim. Alice moves around the pool of lights, uh, and the light goes to the centre of the stage and is joined by a mouse. The mouse enters stage left, who dances in a swimming movement towards Alice. Both dance towards the centre stage and at the front of the stage. The mouse, mouse says to Alice, It's over there! Where? Behind you! Where? Okay, and then you enter as the Queen leaves Lisa. You come on stage as the Queen leaves and she'll leave that way. Up towards Selena is the other exit. So that's the other exit. So when you see the Queen go, you that's come on. Come you come and enter. Queen you come and stand about here. Stand next to Alice. Anytime you want, ladies. <laughs> Anytime you want. It's nearly Christmas, you know. You'll see that the griffin is laid down, <clears throat> but and the line is the queen and the um, Alice. And the execution. Yeah, they say they got the griffin and turn to watch queen and king until they're queen and king. Uh, uh, Ooh, important palace business. To uh, the audience. Thank you very much, but I do know where my own house is. Oh, that's Alice. That's Alice. Yeah, that's it for that bit. And then it's all you on projection. Mm -hmm. Mother, I know something. I know something is your... Yeah, because you've gone off of there. Carry on then. It's your you've gone off of there. Whenever I come to So I can see you what this battle does. I do <laughs> hope you stay there. We'll be able to grow large again. By a meal quite tired of being so small. That's quite enough. I know I can't go anymore. As it is, I can't out the door. Oh dear me. I wish I hadn't drunk so much. And then you start growing. And then you come on muttering. Alice is all squished up in that projection at the back. Mm. Where, where's that Alice? I'll go round to the window. Right, now, I think we've established that the window is going to be where, from where you just came. So, you're going to have to milk it a bit. Where is that Alice? Where is that Alice? I'll go around the window, because you're going off the same way you just come on. Okay. So when you come on... Do I go off at that time then, towards the screen? Yeah, because you're kind of going around the back. Right. Oh no, somehow white, oh, somehow white rabbit appears on stage after that, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. But I think you will appear from there yeah, again. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, then at some point you're going to be involved in the slapstick, aren't you? Yeah, I'm coming forward to you, don't I? So you use that exit there and that entrance as the whole window thing. Okay. And even if we don't go to the window again, we've already established that it's there. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about the window, we'll just all look that way. Right. So, 
out around the window. So you've gone off, you've gone off that way, and then enter Merv carrying the laddies and his cronies, his gang, whoever they are, Alan and all of those, and the teeth. Um, and then as they come on, you can just appear again. You're late, where have you been? Well, we have heard a crash when she goes off. Can we hear a crash when she goes off? I can't, I don't know. She comes back on with her holes in her legs. No, I think that's because white rabbit falls backwards into a hoop covered in cling film. We did do that once, didn't we? Yeah. Remember, yeah. we did it over here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it won't hold and it will not reach the roof. Or to be sure, stop moving. I think that actually comes out here. The window's there. Well, I think they'll be here. Oh, right. That's he. So Merv will kind of just be there, like overlooking their shoddy workmanship. Okay. Like, so if we're putting the ladder up this side, Merv will be doing it from that side. Okay. If it's in between us. Okay. Um, in my opinion, not a Cheshire cat in the Queen's Palace chest. Cheshire cat could walk past, so Carisha could walk past there. Um, watch out, loose slate. Oh, it's coming down. Look out, Merv. Where should I go? Kind of just like bend down, I think, to crouch. <laughs> and then we'll have the sound effect of the slate. And then a slate is going to be thrown on. Is it really? <laughs> and then you say... Yeah. It's too hard, so yeah. it's too hard. Sticky bit. 